Hello, Floss Tube. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and this is my uh, channel about cross stitch. Mm, sorry about moving the camera around. I think I fixed the backwards thing because everything looks right now <laughs> to me. So hopefully you it won't be backwards when uh, when you view it. So today is uh, September 26th, Saturday, September 26th. It's the end of the month already. And uh, this is floss tube number one, update number 134. And uh, so uh, today I, I did a thing. I, it had been, I didn't realize it had been so long, but it was the end of July last time I rode my bike and it's now the end of September. So, you know, but it was very hot here. So it's finally gotten down, uh, to where it's a little bit, uh, consistent and being cooler at night. Uh, it was still like, I think in the low 90s at, at when I by the time I got outside and went riding because I've, I've gotten out of the habit of getting up early but anyway I went riding today yay yay me um, and um, I also want to uh, mention that uh, my sister Eve uh, she had done some um, uh, painting uh, videos uh, under her uh, channel uh, on her, on YouTube called Everyday Artist, Eve Burge, Everyday Artist, B-U-R-G-E. Um, but now she's, uh, she's dipped her toe into the floss tube uh, universe. So she has a little floss tube video. It's, it's, uh, it's very short, but she's getting ready to do with me uh, the witchy stitchy challenge. Uh, and, uh, she and my younger sister is doing it also, the Witchy Stitchy Challenge. So the three of us are going to be taking part of that. And um, uh, my sister called me a stitch bully because I was asking her, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? And so, uh, yeah, hopefully the, the three of us will all be participating in that. But anyway, um, go ahead and go check out her uh, floss tube video, or number one. Um, like I said, it's Eve Burge, Everyday Artist. Um, there's a lot of Everyday Artist kind of named channels. So, you know, if you put those two together, you should come up with the right channel. So, I'm going to, this is a channel about cross stitch. So, we're going to talk about it a little bit. So, uh, this is... Uh, Winter at, what am I saying? Christmas at Winterberry Cabin by Bridget Gervais. This, uh, uh, the title of this design. And um, I worked on this a little bit. Uh, I put in the leaves on this vine. And uh, I started to do a little bit of the, of the red uh, kind of berry things. Still haven't done, oh, there's a big cat here there. Still haven't done the, all of the trees here, but uh, last time I had finished the snowman and the deer and most of the center there, I, I, it, it's still missing like one little white stitch there. And um, I think the eye, Santa's eye. But I started doing uh, some of the, the leaves here and then there's uh, more red along the the little vine here. Some of these things are are red, and I think this one here is is uh, a, is going to be a like a leaf like this. But uh, I had to move the the fabric over uh, on this hoop. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's I haven't done anything that more on this side than I did last time. So that's coming along, um, and this is. Um, linen um i want to say it's 28 count but it might be 32 count i don't remember uh linen that i coffee tea dyed or something like that coffee or, or and or tea dyed uh some time ago such a long time ago i don't remember hold on just one second okay so that was christmas at winterbury cabin by brenda Gervais. And then um, I also worked on this one, 
Santa knows. Um, Santa knows your heart is true. That your heart that's true. So he's bringing wool for you. Um, it still looks backwards to me. I I don't know. <laughs> I hope you all are seeing it right side around. But anyway, um, so I worked on uh, the top part of Santa. I, I didn't do any more work on, but uh, oopsie, let me move this. Um, I did start the word wool down here. And I did this one side over here. I had posted on Facebook um, in the stitching groups that I'm in about falling asleep while you're stitching. <laughs> because I, I was stitching this part down here. It's just a solid block of stitching. And I had dozed off. And I, and I knew I was going to leave. I had looked at the pattern. And I was going to like, you know, leave here and, and here. Because this is where uh, there's, a, a you know, leaves on the border that you know come in and and uh into these places so i had looked at it and then you know so that i would not m just mindlessly uh stitch over these these areas that are gonna boy there's gonna be leaves but then i you know so i was down here in this solid solid little block of stitches and i dozed off i fell asleep <laughs> and in my and i dreamed that i had done something wrong you know i had either like stitch something wrong or it stitched over where the leaf went or something thankfully when i woke up i had not done any of that so but so yeah i finished this side and and i'm just starting on on this side over here now oh and i did santa's boots here also yeah so these are um a combination of i think i want to say weeks dye works and dmc uh colors so the, all the Svidlin stuff is DMC, actually. And um, I think, I can't remember if, uh, I know the black is like mascara or something like that, you know. Uh, but, I, and I don't remember if those colors on his face are, are weeks or DMC, I don't know, I don't remember. But this is on a, 28 or 26 count uh, natural, I guess. Uh, uh, I think it's linen. I don't, I don't think it's even weave. I think it's linen. So anyway, yeah, those are uh, coming along. And then I had a finish. I, I talked about this flamingo kit uh, last time. And I finished it. I finished it, mm, I want to say Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday in the wee hours. But uh, so yeah, this came with, it was a kit, came with white Ada cloth. And I, I uh, dyed it with a writ dye um, in, I think I want to say evening blue. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll, like I said last week, I, I wadded it up and stuck it in a little wee jar uh wheat yogurt glass jar but um but anyway so yeah i finished it there's a little bit of back stitching i i stitched around the flamingo i stitched flamingo's eye finally and uh stitched around his legs and then i did this little seagrass it was supposed to be um a combination of it was mostly i think back stitching whatever but i did um i did long stitches because it sh i felt like it showed up better the backstitching, I don't know if it's my backstitching skills or whatever, but like along here, there's one thing, and you really can't see it. Um, it's like in between these two, the uh, two blue lines or whatever, um, and it's you know it's this it's a green color backstitch color, and you really can't see it, but it's there, and so I just did you know, long stitches yeah, and these other ones. And then I did colonial, colonial knots and not instead of French knots. Uh, but the, but yeah, the, so I did the, the, all the black back stitching and I finished the, I finished the water that I had not done last time, a few lines of water. But so yeah, so it's done. And I'm gonna uh, probably, 
I, I, I have some ideas what I'm going to do to finish that now. So, let me check my notes. Uh, yeah, so uh, the things that, um, what I'm planning to do for the month of October, I'm going to, well, for the rest of the September, I th I'm going to finish working on uh, the, the two, those two Santa patterns that I showed. Winterberry Cabin and Santa Nose. And then, um, and I have a couple of other things um, that I'm working on for, that are, you know, going to be Christmas presents or whatever. So, uh, I'm still working on those. But then, um, starting October 1st is the Witchy Stitchy Challenge. And, um, like I said last week, it's, it's 30 minutes a day of uh, stitching and you take a before and after picture. And, uh, and there's a few other little, uh, requirements, uh, that are in there that are just like little tricks that are thrown in there, like, um, talk about what cross stitch means to you and, uh, or why you like it or whatever, and then stitch on something black, orange, or purple, or with some, with those three colors on those three colors, something, you know, one of those three colors. Um, stitch something that's, uh, or do something that scares you, stitch, or, you know, if you're afraid of using even weave or linen, you know, that could be something that scares you. Um, if you're afraid of a certain technique that, you know, you're afraid of trying a new, uh, certain technique or whatever. So, you know, something like that. And then, um, what did I say? Oh. Take a picture uh, with your favorite Halloween movie playing in the background. And then the the fifth uh, thing was uh, that October 31st, Halloween, is a, is a mandatory stitch day. So those, you know, those little five, five little things on top of just, you know, at least 30 minutes a day. Um, hopefully, we sh I should be able to, to do something like that. I have a couple of things. Like I had mentioned before, um, my birthday is October 10th, so I have uh, one pattern that I, uh, I'm going to work on that day. And I have a few other things, you know, uh, that I'm going to work on, as well as continuing to work on my uh, Christmas present uh, projects, whatever. So, um, so that's my, uh, my witchy stitchy plans. For October and then I have some haul um some uh some stuff that I meant to show last week that I've forgotten that I had sorry my, my giant bag of stuff um I'm gonna make a little bit of noise here hold on one second sorry about that okay so um the uh kind of stitchy related stuff is um that I bought at Michael's, uh, I don't regularly shop there, but my sister and I went to, just to see what they have and um, got some uh, beads and stuff there that were interesting. Um, but I, I bought, I found some uh, fabric they had. Uh, they don't have very much in their uh, cross stitch section, um, but they did have this. Uh, this is Irish linen, it says. Um, it's, it says even we've gone 28 count and this is tea dyed color, right? So I'm, I don't know if I'm, I'm just going to leave it this color maybe instead of, you know, I'm, or I might darken it up. I don't know. Um, but that's 28 and it, and then, um, this 28 count Monaco, um, even weave. And this is just white DMC, Charles Craft. So those, and you know, the white stuff, I have like a couple of, of uh, packages of, of white even weave and I think one of white linen that um, I will probably dye some other color. Um, <laughs> I, I look at white cloth like Kind of like the sheets on my bed, you know, that I haven't had white sheets in I don't know how long since I was a kid, probably. I like 
all different colors you know, you know. so same thing with with stitching fabric you know I want to stitch in anything white so the other thing I did was I ordered floss from two sites um, one two three stitch and the shepherd's needle Be just, just simply because one two three stitch there were a couple of colors that they didn't have that I uh, ordered from the shepherd's needle so from one two three stitch um, I ordered a couple of a uh, few weeks dye works colors and the rest I think were yeah um, color coloring or classic color works so these are the colors that I bought um, three weeks that works so um, one of the things that I want to do uh, upcoming is the is amazing grace the amazing grace pattern that I got from as a freebie from the uh, last time I ordered from the shepherd's needle and so it calls for purple haze and eggplant and ivy so uh, the green one is ivy and uh, this dark purple is eggplant and this is purple haze so I got these three weeks colors and the the classic color works that I got from them from uh, one two three stitch sorry these are um, I bought this is steamed broccoli and muddy puddle wagon wheel Uh, sticks and twigs and these are for the um, blessed uh, little freebie from uh, Priscilla and Chelsea uh, this is colonial copper chopped chives it's very it's green it looks a little on the gray side in my camera here and cocoa bean so I got those colors and then uh, the two that I, I got from Shepherd's Needle are um, Black Coffee and Queen Bee, I think are the colors, sorry. And this black bag, sorry. Uh, black Coffee, and these are, these are also for the, the blessed chart. Black Coffee and Queen Bee, which is a, a little a goldish yellow. So I bought those, uh, those colors and oh sorry you make a mess here and the other thing i bought was when i was at um i w was at tar at target and uh i always check out their little dollar spot whatever so they had some turkeys and these are like you know table accents or whatever but I think uh, you could use them for finishing or whatever. I, so I didn't know what, I don't have any specific plans, but I thought they were kind of cute. And then uh, some other, some of the little uh, pumpkins, pumpkin shapes as well in various colors. And then I also bought uh, uh, this little chalkboard thing. It says RIP and it comes with a little piece of chalk um, but it's a little, like, grave marker, whatever. It says, works with chalk. So, but, uh, I thought that would be a neat little Halloween kind of thing. And it comes with a, you know, a little, little rope to hang it with. And then I bought also, um, these little Halloween bucket kind of things. I thought they would be kind of fun to do, uh, but they're, uh, one is there's a little picture here um one is the moon and stars and the this other one is these little halloween designs and then this one i thought they were cute too i, I don't have any specific plans but i don't know what i'm gonna do them but there they are and then the other thing i i bought um and this was i think 
don't remember where I got this at. Target, Hobby Lobby, Target, tar Target, and they're Dollar Spot also. Um, but um, there's two of them. There's this little little one and this one. And they're just wooden, you know, crate kind of frame things. But, um, but yeah, there's a little picture here. You know, there's one, there's two there. One larger one and one smaller one. Little crate kind of things. They look like little pallets. That's what they look like. But I thought they'd be good to, you know, finish something small on. So I think that's all I have for a haul. So that's enough. And let me put this down here. So, uh, so, so, uh, my big giveaway thing, um, I had, uh, several items. I had eight items and I, and about six of them were requested. Um, and so I'm going to go through the winners and the, I had one that was contested with, between two people. And uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. So number one, the Santa Hoop Kit um, goes to Hildy Johnson. Hildy Johnson. And she also asked for the Christmas gift tags. So Hildy Johnson. And the Russian dolls. And I did not have a limit of, you know, you can only win one or whatever, so that's fine. I, I, Hildy Johnson also asked for this one. And then, um, second, the uh, bread cover. Bread cover. Sorry. The bread cover uh, little thing. And then, um, uh o2b purple sharon requested the floral alphabet so she, that one's going to her and then the uh the one that was uh uh there was a little bit of a contest between them was uh, a, a friend of sharon's actually uh mint julep janet uh was is her uh YouTube name and Hilly Johnson both uh, requested the zipper pouch um, kit this kit and I did find the the uh, instructional chart it was in the my uh, this magazine um, cross stitcher I think it's cross stitcher magazine the summer of 2019 so it comes with this uh, the instructions for this zipper zipper per pouch the zipper pouch comes with all the stuff. Um, and so, uh, Hildy Johnson and Mint Julep Janet both requested the zipper pouch. So I have uh, my uh, decision roulette wheel, uh, have their names on it. So I'm going to spin it now. Did I spin it? Oh. Okay, there it is. And it landed on... Ooh, <laughs> on Hildy Johnson. So Hildy gets the zipper pouch as well. Yay. Okay. So, uh, okay. So then, um, so all of those things are going to, to Hildy Johnson, and this one is going to Sharon. Great. So, um, I want to go ahead and again, I have again, um, I want to go ahead and give these, uh, offer these as giveaways also again. So the, the little, uh, scissor pouch and I have, I found the instructions in the magazine. So, um, this is still available, a Stitcher's Heart little, uh, pouch and, and it comes with the backing fabric and the, uh, and some ribbon and all the floss and eight of cloth to make the little, this little pouch and the instructions. So that's still available. And the 
ribbon, ribbon embroidery kit that's still available. And that again has, comes with Ada cloth and the ribbons and some floss and the needle and all that stuff for that. And then I want to add two, the two that I said I was on the fence about. I decided to go ahead and give them, offer them as giveaways also. So uh, the one is this, it's called Elegant Orchid, the Dimensions Kit. And it comes with the black Ada and then all the floss. You can see that. And the chart and everything. And again, this has been opened because, you know, I opened it to look at it once upon a time, and then I never stitched it. But it also comes with a little handy floss card to put your floss on. Now, the floss is in a big, you know, they, they send it to you in a big wad, so you have to decide what color is what. But it does come with a floss card, so. Um, and I think it has 14 count black Ada, thread palette. Uh, there should be a needle in there somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, it's, uh, if you want this one, I want to stitch the Orchids. O-R-C-H-I-D-S. Orchids. Okay. And then the other one is this, uh, oops, sorry. And this is a, this one, uh, I believe, yeah. Uh, is also a kit, um, this is a Joan Elliott design. It's a nativity, uh, basically like a, a kind of a triptych. Um, chronic, counted cross stitch picture kit. So there's three different, uh, you can do it as, a, I guess you can do it as one design or you can do it individually, I guess, I don't know. But, um, so it has 14 count Ada, embroidery floss, gold metallic floss, needle and instructions. So uh, it has in there a skein of metallic thread and all the, the threads are on a pallet here. And, and then the Ada cloth and I, I don't know if there's a needle in there. I mean, I don't know if the needle is still there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Could be. But, uh, like I said, it's a, uh, this little uh, nativity scenes. Yeah. So, I would like to stitch the nativity. Yeah. Sorry. And again, I put that in a Ziploc because I, the original plastic bag, I don't have any more. So anyway, so uh, congratulations to Sharon and to Hildy uh, for this first giveaway. And then the, like I said, those uh, four items, uh, the, the scissor pouch pocket, whatever, uh, the ribbon embroidery, and the orchids, and the uh, nativity um, are still available, or are available for giveaways. Uh, and I didn't say this last time, but, you know, just, and I, and it wasn't a problem this time, but just to, you know, in uh, to be on the safe side, don't say the word giveaway, uh, because that's a, a you know, we don't want to attract trolls, you know, doing that. And um, so, yeah. So the other thing is an update to the Etsy shop. Um, there's, uh, last time I talked about this, this little pumpkin design here that is like just finished as an ornament, just for a finishing idea. You can finish them however you want because it's a, you know, PDF file. And this little one here, Scaring Crows, it says, a little scare crow and a couple of corn stalks. And of course a crow because he's not really scaring crows, he just thinks he is. But so yeah, there's a little scare crow. So there's a PDF 
those are, are available as PDF files. And this one is called Falling Leaves. There's a little piece of lint in there. Okay. Falling Leaves. So, as I said, those are in the Etsy shop, uh, available as PDFs. And then also, um, I think I showed this scissor fob before, and the owl was upside down. <laughs> but it's now it's been fixed now. Oops, I have it backwards there. Um, you can't, it looks bluish in the video, but it's actually uh, a light purple, like a lilac color. And I can get the camera to show the real color but it's it's purple mm, you can't tell I mean, it's purple believe me it's it's like a lilac color and then it has the you know some beads and then uh, this other one that's available is a Christmassy one a little Santa oops And Christmas trees and a peppermint. Eh, peppermint. So yeah, those are in the Etsy shop as well. Scissor fobs, and they have a like a little uh, lobster claw uh, attachment on the top of them. And um, so as sort of related to this, the witchy stitchy. Uh, um, challenge um, on our Etsy shop site wide anything on the Etsy shop is uh, going to be offered starting October 1st through the 31st uh, for 10% off so anything you order on the Etsy shop from October 1st through October 31st is going to be 10% off and we have project bags and uh, scissor fobs and uh, uh, little notions pouches. Uh, set, almost all of them match uh, one of the uh, project bags. I can't speak. Um, I think there's one little scissor, one, one notions pouch that doesn't have a matching uh, a project bag with some, because somebody ordered the project bag and did not order the, the, the notions pouch. So I think there's one, but um, otherwise uh, all the project bags have a matching notions pouch um, that you can order. And then there's, like I said, there's scissor fobs and so I say project bags, scissor fobs, notions pouches, and um, needle minders. Um, so those are all on the site and everything, like I said, everything, oh, and, the, and patterns, of course. Um, there's some PDF patterns, but uh, so everything is 10% off uh, site-wide for the month of October. So, um, like you know, like I said before, tell all your friends, tell everybody you know to go and check it out. It's Three Sisters Creative, and that'll be linked below. Um, and Eve's uh, Floss Tube channel, I think, will be linked below um, as well. Um, so again, congratulations to Sharon and to Hildy Johnson and uh, Mint Jewel of Janet. I hope you find something else on, that you like just as well. Um, sorry but that you uh, didn't win the, the scissor pouch, but um, I mean the, the, not scissor pouch, zipper pouch, <laughs> I'm trying to say, sorry. But um you know, like I said, there's, there's, uh, if, if, uh, if you want any of the, uh, other patterns that I have that are, you know, little giveaway kits, you know, uh, feel free to, to enter that, you know, to say, all you have to do is say, I want to stitch the scissor, uh, pocket. I want to stitch the ribbon embroidery. I want to stitch the orchids or I want to stitch the nativity. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, so uh, I think that's everything, right? Let me see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah make sure I cover everything. So anyway, uh, like I said, uh, feel free to check out the Etsy shop and, um, you know, go ahead and order anything. 
especially starting October 1st, everything's on sale. And uh, that's it. So I will see you next week. Hope the Like I said, the, the Stitchy Witchy Witchy Stitchy Challenge thing starts October 1st. And I will hopefully have some stuff to show you on the on uh, on next Saturday. Uh, okay, so next, until next time, I'm Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.